Hello YouTube, welcome to episode 48 of the Rise of Icelandic Football here with HK. We've got Madrid, everybody should know what this is all about because at the end of episode 47 we went through it. We win this game, we could top, we could be on top of the group with a game to go. Um, let's get straight into it and obviously our last game is Dynamo. We, oh, Madrid at home, HK, what things are made of. This Madrid side is insane but we obviously have a very good side in ourselves. Colors has to play, Steven is injured with a concussion and he picked up on international duty. Always international injuries, always for us. Julio Cesar in goals. Yeah, a Brazilian regen called Julio Cesar as a goalkeeper. I wonder why, FM. Um, there we are. Um, Kubios, who played centre-back, has gone out to play right-back. Obviously, can play right-back very well. Just probably not as much as an attacking right-back, though, but more as a defensive right-back, which could help us in terms of them on the break um, or getting forward. The Austrian, who I said will pay 100 caps, has now got 100 caps, is Marseki. He looks sensational, the elite centre-back. The other centre-back is Blade, who looks good, the Portuguese international. A powerful centre-back is definitely the way I would say him. Um, we know about Jorge there. Or Jorg, or however you want to call it. I call them Jorge, and I see it like that. Um, he looks sensational, the fullback. We've already looked at him. Lochetti, who was injured for the game, is still there, the world class midfielder. And Valverde, who played against us as well, is still there as well. Um, they played 4 4 2 last time, did they? No, they played 4 2 3 1, never mind. Um, Vincius Jr. is Vincius. You just, just look. He's sensational. He pro like I highlighted last time, probably hasn't scored enough goals in his career that I would have thought he would have scored as a football manager. Asensio, the 30-year-old, is still here, and he looks sensational, the elite attacking midfielder. Obviously, it was Philippe, who hasn't even made the bench, which makes me think he's injured. Um, almost the um, star Argentinian regen winger looks sensational. And obviously, up top is Romelu Lukaku, who's been banging goals in for fun for Madrid. He's been banging your goals in fun for his entire, entire life. We're going to get straight into it. Pep talk here. Look. I'm going to cautiously say, reluctantly say, I want no one expects us to get a result. I want us to be relaxed. There we go. That's a very good team talk. That was very well thought out. I'm going to tell them I have faith in them. I'm not going to put player instructions. I'm going to trust the system to do its job. Get to the tunnel. We don't want a pumping. Semedo is, but um, I can't deny it makes us better. It makes us more easier when Semedo doesn't play because it's very good going forward. But Madrid is still Madrid. The boys get in the huddle. It's HK in its red, attacking to the right hand side of the screen can we beat madrid could we get a result against madrid or are we going to get pumped we'll wait and see at hk we barely do get pumped we definitely put in a decent performance but we'll wait and see as madrid bring the ball forward don't concede in a minute boys almost who played both sides in the game against us defected cross straight to maruta maruta picks it up and the highlight will continue here will it be for us or will it be for them we'll find out right now i need a drink i'm so pumped for this game maruta what a throw straight to source he finds carlos Palace, straight into Flamen, good control. Flamen finds Schultz, Schultz's ball. Brata, oh, for a second there. I wanted to take a touch and go. He hit it first time. Can't fault the ambition of Brata there, but well, why? It was definitely a chance. Definitely need to take a touch and steady himself and look to shoot there. Um, that is for sure. Um, Asensio now on the ball. Looks inside there, looking um, for Olmos. Finds Lukaku. Lukaku about the Olmos. The Argentinian winger. Murta comes out big. What a good save. We move down to third spot, which probably means that um, Leverkusen are winning. They are winning 1 0 against Dynamo. Um, we're obviously at the group in third spot anyhow if we did lose today so it didn't really matter um, it's all about if we can maybe finish second or, second or first in the group anyhow Callas gets on the ball Pereira now the, the Brazilian maestro there Victor Hugo finds Lucas Lovat finds Schultze come on Schultze come inside son keep going Schultze his ball is pretty poor it is his was to nobody Vincius Jr who we know is quite good on the ball is running at his man still running his ball low Lukaku's going to score that it's a poor mistake there by Schultze our star German winger he looked inside and played an errant ball across the park to nobody in particular. Maybe he was looking for Brato, he wasn't there. Maybe he was looking for Cardozo on the inside. I don't know. Who's he looked to pick out there? Crespo? If that's for Crespo, that's really poor. That's who was highlighted. Anyhow, Vincent Jr. is coming there. Good dribbling. Finds Lukaku front post. Lukaku does what he does best. Score from six yards. And there we go. Haven't really done too much in terms of the game. We're still looking like, you know, we're not doing a whole heap with the ball. At some point, we will go for it. But right now, going for it would be suicide. Julio says, oh, I made a mistake in the first game for our, our goal. Plays short to Marsic. He finds Locatelli. There he finds Olmos, who's obviously very good at running at his man. Lucas Lopet stands him up. Locatelli switch, though, finds um, Victor Jr. straight at his man. Run and hits it from distance. It's well blocked, but back to Victor Jr. He's going to run at his man again. Lukaku's lurking in the box. Front post Lukaku, 2 0. Mutas didn't do really do too, too much to cover himself in glory there at the front post. We go 2-0 down. Maybe at halftime we might change the system. Maybe we might. I don't want it to be a pumping, but at the same time, we have to go for it. A point here is 
pretty good. A win here is obviously very good as well. Um, the way it could work, though, is that if Leverkusen lose to Madrid and we win on the final day, we might finish second as well. It depends. Anyhow, free kick, Madrid. Um, Madrid, HK, Schultz there, whip it across son, headed away by Viola, and then maybe it's um, Viola just clear it, Cardozo though picks up the ball, we recycle it, Pereira, Pereira finds Brata, Brata, he had that chance in the first two minutes of the game, Callas gets tackled, and it will be Madrid on the break again, showing their quality, bringing the ball forward, Essencio now, still with Essencio, Essencio's ball, almost there, almost the Argentinian elite winger, running down the line, Ball inside. Oh, it's poor defending. Oh, thank God it was a free kick. To be honest, I didn't think it was a foul. I thought Hugo just misjudged it. Instead, it's a foul, and the goal won't count from Lukaku. It would have been his hat-trick. Looks like we're going to be 2-0 down to Madrid here at half-time. We're going to have to change the system, I feel. I feel like that we are going to change the system. Just what to? I'm going to confirm the team talk and show them that they're absolutely terrible. What do we go to is the question. I feel like we're going to have to go to Callis going in here. Um, maybe put Brata on that side and put Pereira like so. And we're going to probably go to a bit more of a deeper system, not allowing too much space, not closing down as much, but go on a much higher tempo on counter as they're getting the balls a lot. Not look for the overlap as lot, but look to exploit both flanks, more direct and passing the ball into space. Um, being a little bit more flexible in our shape as well and maybe putting... Codozo and Lokus lot back on wingbacks and defend. We can't afford to concede in the first couple minutes of the half, right? Um, the next half, but we obviously would like to go and attack. Um, with Mazala playing on this side, we might put um, Carlos on that side and play him as an advanced playmaker on attack. Get him really driving at the defence as well, Madrid. See if that can buy us a goal just on the break, maybe Madrid coming forward and then we got to exploit the space in behind. Um, I would love for that to work. That would make me look like a tactical genius. It sometimes it normally doesn't, and then we're going to have to park the bus. The ball to Flamen looked like Flamen was offside anyway. Apparently it wasn't, but it doesn't really matter anyhow. Um, looking for us to maybe get on the ball, maybe work a chance or something. 53 minutes in, Leverkusen are 3 new up. Muta, though, he goes long. Can we win a ball there? Um, Callis' header doesn't find anyone in particular. Luke Lukaku there from distance might have a strike. He does. It's over the bar, but not by much. Stewing two and down. Sensei comes off. It's a corner. Can we score? Shorts his ball. Chris Bosnay has hit the bar. Oh, we needed that to go in. That would have given us a lifeline. There we go. Madrid is still 2 0 up, but it's another chance here. Cardozo now. Brato now. Can he find a pass somewhere? The ball back to Pereira isn't that great. Maybe it was arguably a foul. Pereira wanted the foul. The referee says no. Tells him to get up. Lukaku, good tackle by Cardozo. Hugo goes long. Flamen's got speed. Go Flamen. Have to score Flamen. Flamen. Oh, Susio Angelio says, I'll oh, stay strong. Oh, he had to score, didn't he, Flamen? He had to score. Oh, well, it. Oh, Flamen, really? You're not Bonanine. There we go. Stein, though, he gets on the ball. He looks for Schultz. Schultz, good ball in. Come on, Schultz, good ball in. It's not a good ball in. It's straight at the keeper. We're creating chances all of a sudden on this system. The men not having the best of days. We're going to get Filipov out there, our star man. Do I want to do that, though? You know what? We're going to wait. We're going to wait. 70th minute. See if a goal comes in the next couple of minutes. All right. Pause. We have to go for it now. No point not going for it. Flamen's going to come out here as the complete forward. Um, Callis is going to go into the middle of the park. We're going to move Bartra there. No, we're going to keep Pereira on the deep line playing on defend. We're going to move Bartra up to where up front would be. We're going to get Filipov on there. Um, we're going to play Filipov as a complete forward on attack and maybe get Flamen on as the poacher. Um, we're then obviously going to play that. Lucas Lotbat and that can obviously still play as the four. We're then going to go to attacking... Team instructions here. Exploit both Franks. Pump the boy over the top. Go away more direct. Hit early crosses. Got to sit normal-ish, but look to press a lot. A lot. Get stuck in because we need to win the ball as quickly as possible. And just go for it. Come on, boys. Um, I say this. Kadoza hasn't the best of games. Gleason's going to get on. Fullback on support, I think, is the best way to go for right now. Get Lucas Lott back there as fullback on support. Confirm the changes and off we go. Get our wing, wing backs getting forward. Maybe we can buy ourselves a goal. Not much has happened. And... It looks like there's a chance here for Madrid. The ball into the box. Mustic is there. Headed off the line by Lucas Lovat. Knocked down. And that's going to be a free kick there. Referee, apparently Lukaku would have been offside. I would not have counted. Goals hasn't come just yet. At what point do we really just throw the kitchen sink? And probably just do it now, don't we? We're going to wait and see. Goal difference could be huge for we know. I'm not 100% sure. I think it goes results for the teams anyhow. Um, we're going to go for it. Lucas Lovat. Get Gleason up the field as well. Wing backs on attack. Leaving ourselves open. There we go. On attack. Overload, high as possible, offside trap, prevent shorter distribution, take more risk on a much higher tempo on very fluid. Get out there, boys. Shoot on sight. Any chance you can get. More direct because I don't want to go route one. Um, 
Roam from positions as well. Just mayhem up there, please. Confirm. Chance, please. Just highlights. Even if it's a goal from Madrid, just give us a highlight. Looks like it's going to tick away. 91st minute, 92nd minute. Can we at least get a goal? Doesn't look like it. It looks like it's going to be. That's going to be game. Ball's going to go out there to Vinicius Jr. He might shoot from distance. He does. It's blocked. Um, apparently, there's the final whistle. They thought it was going to be offside. We lose 2-0 at HK. It wasn't a pumping. I'm going to tell them that it was unlucky, boys. It was it would have been nice to win. They were responded well to that in terms of the group it should leave it fairly poised going to the final game um, um, I don't have anything to say about them um, on the bright side we know exactly what we need to do to get through Vincent Jr. was a great player Bojan is playing very well loaned is exactly the reason we loaned him don't we don't want to talk about Bojan anymore come on give us the group stage what is needed as my dog's barking in the background if you can hear that I apologize um, group G there we go so Madrid's qualified on 12 we are Third on 10, right? On 7, right? Leverkusen on 10. If it's results between teams, there was a draw against Leverkusen, and then we beat Leverkusen. So if Leverkusen lose to Madrid, we win. We actually get out of the group. That means everybody on YouTube, everybody on stream, stay, right? Everybody, stay here. We're going to do the game. Don't worry. We're not going here. We need to do my outro for YouTube. For everybody on YouTube, episode 49 is going to be... I had to remember that this is 48. Oh, it's a bit of a shambles. Episode 49 is going to be that Dynamo game. I have to show you. It's a must-win game. We should beat Dynamo away from home. We're going to go out there. and We're going to attack from minute one against Dynamo. And we're going to look for goals. That is for sure. But um, If you're watching this on YouTube back, obviously, link in the description below to see my Twitch. We're obviously live on Twitch, interacting with the chat. If the chat, you know, if you want to go and can interact with the chat and get everyone out there, that is obviously great. So go click the link um, in the link in the description below. Follow us on YouTube, um, on Twitch so when you know when we go live. That is Damien signing off YouTube for another episode. Episode 49 will be not too far away as well when we do upload it. We're going to upload all three episodes, 47, 48, 49, all in one hit. So you can watch it all bang, 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 bang. In, in saying that, that is Damien signing off for another episode on YouTube. Thank you for watching and goodbye.